So basically today uh, the events going on is about construction and real estate and uh, it's an outlook on what 2024 holds for people in the industry. So we want to know what your takeaway is from the events and uh, some nuggets or lessons you've learned and you want to share with the audience. Okay. I mean the, one of the first things I learned is the need for real estate uh, practitioners to have some agility in their business. Agility will mean that you have to give consideration for people, players, products, and how you're able to um, look at your competitors and outperform them. So what are they doing that you can do better? And position, position yourself as a real estate player in the market. I mean, the real estate market is beset with a lot of challenges, regulatory challenges, issues of um, um, high cost of input, you know, inflation, exchange rates. But again, this platform that MBC has provided is to not to dwell on the problem, problems and challenges, to give opportunities to um, existing partakers in the real estate sector or willing partakers or potential partakers in the real estate market. And I could see that in spite of all the challenges, there are so many opportunities in mixed development, either office or retail or mass, mass housing or even urban regeneration. I mean, Mr. Ido, one of the panelists gave a very, very profound example about the investment this company had in Ajegule. I mean, if you, if, you, if you heard about Ajikna, the first thing that comes to mind is a slum, a ghetto. But he was able to give us a profound example of how his company had been able to go there and value of properties that were as rock bottom at 2 million, now as high as 16 million because they targeted social intervention for the community. I was supposed to go in there to, um, to rub, ruffle, ruffle their feathers and just show, show them that they are champions or they can you know, um, override them. So for me, um, the real estate sector, in spite of its challenges, you know, like all other sectors in the country, in the economy, there are massive opportunities in this sector. Um, Reverend Ogunira mentioned something about climate um, housing, you know, climate friendly housing, and talked about green bonds where people can have access to funding, long term funding, based on the fact that you are focusing your housing development on, you know, climate issues. We all know that climate issues have, gone, have become the front burner discussion among business leaders worldwide. So why won't real estate players position themselves to be uh, the focus for climate friendly houses where they can get access to funding at very, very cheap and subsidized rates? And they can, you know, partake in mass housing. I mean, give, I mean uh, Mr. Ido also gave an example of, um, uh, sorry, it was Dr. Adidu that gave an example of a mass housing project to witness in China where they had just the bare, bare, bare compartments of the houses. Why can't we do that in Nigeria? The opportunities are there. A country of 220 million people projected to increase to about 400 million in 2050 by UNDP. Then the opportunities are there. And again, like I always tell people, sectors where you think there are major challenges are the sectors with which you have so many opportunities that we can tap into. That, that's, those are my takeaways from this session. Not really a lot you're taking away from the event and I uh, would like to ask you a fun question now. Uh, would you, after listening to all the albums today, would you rather have a savings account for your children or do an investment in real estate and uh, why is that? No brainer. An economy where you have NPR almost of over 18%, inflation is getting 29%, it has to be real estate. Thank you for coming. Sir. Thank you.